Alright guys, I am going to class. A few things on the agenda. It's actually pretty nice outside weather-wise. Um, I'm actually really late for class. I have a test in like five minutes and I'm 50 minutes away from the class itself so that kind of sucks. But today we're talking about the Canon R5 for vlogging. I'm using the Rode Video Micro this time so let's see how the audio is. I'm in a very famous area of Paris right now. This is my daily walk to class. It is pretty today. Sunrise is beautiful. What is that building over there? All right, side the tower. Uh, yeah, it's pretty today. Crazy. crazy exposure today, going back and forth. Typical Paris. It has a beautiful sunrise, and we have the Eiffel Tower just over there. Um, so the Canon R5. Um, right off the bat, I definitely don't think it is a vlogging camera. That's not why Canon made it. This is a hybrid camera for photography and videography and that's what its main focus is. But I use it for vlogging because this is my only camera. I want one camera that can do everything. So if you're in the same boat as me, is the Canon R5 a vlogging camera? We're gonna talk about some points that are important, I think, for vlogging cameras. One thing being, well, autofocus. The autofocus on this camera is really good. The autofocus, the face tracking, the eye tracking, for both humans and animals, in case you vlog with animals, is really good. So you'll never really have to worry about being in focus. The camera's doing all that by itself and it looks really good. So first point out of the way, I need to take this test guys, so I gotta run. I know I'm kinda late for class, but man, would I like a motorcycle like that? That would be sick. One day, one day. I'm late, oh my God. Every YouTuber does that. <laughs> mm. are, you, are you late? Is that the right one? Yeah. Because they were like latte, and I was like, yeah. yeah, I guess. This is nice and compact. I'm actually making a video today about how whether this is like a good vlog camera or not. That's what she's using. Okay. Do you want to do the intro? I already like started. Saying <laughs> is it for you or for for me? <laughs> What's your video about? I don't know. Life and coffee. Point like. Let's see, can you, can you, I hold it by the lens. Is that too heavy for you? Is this on? It's on and it's recording. Yeah, this shit is way too big. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so heavy. Okay. Okay, um, sorry. Huge intermission. A lot of stuff has changed uh, since I started this video. I started this video like last week and just a bunch of stuff has happened since then i'm gonna update you a little bit but i'm gonna actually make a video pretty soon updating you guys on everything but we're still talking about the canon r5 as a vlog camera first of all another thing that's really important i was actually vlogging with a friend of mine throughout this past few days and uh their vlog setup is way smaller than mine they have a canon g7x mark one which is canon's like smaller pocket uh, cameras and the quality actually looks pretty freaking good um i i might ask to borrow the camera for like a review i don't know and i think it looks dope and the form factor my point is the form factor is really small and it makes it really convenient for vlogging it's easy to pull out no one really stares with a setup like this people stare it's kind of bulky cumbersome People assume you're doing something professional. It's just a less smooth process compared to a smaller camera for vlogging. Yeah. I do want to say, you see this? This is a print that I have been working on. I told you guys before, I do plan on selling my prints. I just need to get to that point. I've printed one picture as a sample. I've made some adjustments in terms of the editing. I kind of talked about this in my uh, iPad mini 6 video because that's actually why I got it to edit photos and with the iPad I'm able to you know see more details to so make sure the picture is actually perfect um, so yeah I will be announcing uh, prints soon on my website so just just wait if you're vlogging with like a medium sized like camera somewhat like this or even God, that's dusty. 
or even like something a bit smaller. I don't know what plate, is this the Arca Swiss plate? I don't remember what it's called, but it's it's the same plate that I use on the Joby Gorilla Pod as well as this KNF Concept uh, travel tripod. It's really awesome and I like the fact that I can just go from one to the other. Now, another important point uh, for the Canon R5 uh, when vlogging is when you vlog, you tend to shoot a lot of video because you don't really stop and start a lot. It's not very really organized and you want to capture as much as you can. Oh my God, there's too many things in this room. Okay, so yeah, so you shoot a lot and there's usually a lot of waste footage or just a lot of content that you might not put in the final video, but you still end up shooting. So you need a lot of space, especially with the camera like the Canon R5. The file sizes are very, very heavy. The file sizes are very heavy. So you need to purchase storage. I just purchased a Western Digital MyBook, eight terabyte uh, hard drive just to store more files because I completely filled up this 10 terabyte hard drive. Uh, the R5 files are very heavy and when I vlog with this or when I shoot long form content, it really fills up. Even shooting in IPB light, it's heavy. The quality is really good, yes, but yeah, it is heavy. My friend who was vlogging on the G7X Mark I they have like one 32 gigabyte card and they can pretty much shoot all day. I will fill up my 256 gigabyte card in 15 minutes if I shoot in 4K 120 frames per second. So you just, you know, it's heavy. So you need a lot of storage. So that's something you want to consider right here. So that's something you want to consider if you are getting into vlogging and you're considering the R5. Yes, you'll get some extremely cinematic footage, but it comes at a cost, uh, which is the file sizes, which might not seem like a big deal, but it is a cost. Hopefully this eight terabytes lasts me, I don't know, a few months. Um, anyways, I'll set this up later uh, when I back up this video. My next video I think I'm gonna do is gonna be an update video. I'll probably shoot it tomorrow if I can. Updating you on the R5, what I wanna get for it. Um, this, if you guys have noticed, We'll talk about it later. Um, here, the print I have over there, the studio setup, I'm gonna change some things um, in here. I did order some lights that are supposed to come tomorrow. So, so I'm really excited about that and uh, definitely gonna make a video on that. I've gotten a request to make a video about color grading. I can do that. My color grading process is very simple, but I'll gladly make a video on that. Um, and yeah, just updating you guys on a bunch of things. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. I definitely think the R5 is an amazing camera. I don't think it's a camera I would purchase if I were strictly a vlogger. If I were to enter vlogging, I would definitely consider a small Sony camera, Sony a7C, uh, even smaller than that, Sony ZV-E10, Canon G7X Mark I or Mark II, Canon M50, definitely would recommend that iPhone, iPhone 12, I think even the 11s and up, I think are perfectly fine, because you got the ultra wide angle. Uh, I think those are perfect for vlogging content creation. Uh, R5, the reason I use it for vlogging is because it's the only camera I have right now. It's my complete workhorse for vlogging, professional video shooting, and professional photography. So yeah, it fills in a lot of boxes, and this camera can do all of them very well. But if we're strictly talking about vlogging, I don't know. I don't think it's, I don't think it, I don't think that's what it's meant for, and I don't think that's what you should get it for. But hey, if you're in the market and you love how it looks, then by all means, get it. Anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna uh, come up with more videos this week, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.